Kia ora everybody! Guess what I'm doing today? I'll give you a clue. Six weeks ago I released a video where I went out and about and had a visit with some nurses. It's been six weeks and I, for one, have been one of those really slack people that haven't rushed in to get my second jab after three weeks. And now there was a couple of reasons for that. The first was actually practical. I had no car battery. There's a video about it a few weeks ago where my car died. So getting there was very, very difficult to sort of juggle around everything else. And then it's at the supermarket, so it made sense to do supermarket stuff at the same time. Like, honestly, thinking about it, it's mostly just excuses for me to go, uh, but I'm at six weeks now. And initially we were told, for a while there we were told, six weeks is the optimum time frame to get your second vaccine. So that you can make sure that your body is creating the antibodies correctly and, and that kind of stuff. I'm very low risk in that I live by myself. I don't go anywhere, I don't interact with a lot of people, I'm not like a teacher or anything like that. So getting the vaccine and waiting that six weeks, I am absolutely fine with. But that's what my mission for today is. So let's go and get myself the second shot. Pretty sure I'm not going to get a 5G upgrade. Pretty damn sure I'm not going to become magnetic. What I do know though is I'm going to reduce the chances of being able to catch the virus by about 85%. I'm going to be able to reduce the chances of becoming hospitalized incredibly. And I'm going to reduce the chances of being able to pass on the virus if I do unfortunately get it onto anybody else. That's what vaccination is all about. It's about protecting yourself and protecting others. So let's see how the second jab goes. Right, I'm here at the Birkenhead Vaccination Centre again to get my second shot. Now, you might remember a few weeks ago I got my first shot, and that was fine. The second shot, I personally think I've actually been putting it off because I know I could have had it any time in the last three weeks. Um, one, I still don't like needles, even though the last time was a very perfectly pleasant experience. Um, but I think giving it that extra time has actually gotten into my head a little bit because we've heard so much about the negative effects of the second shot. And generally, the negative effects of the second shot uh, you're going to feel a little bit run down, or you're going to feel kind of tired, or you might not feel 100%. That's fine. I've actually planned it so it would be a Friday afternoon from back when I was working, in case I needed to take the weekend off to recover. So, like, I've taken the precautions, I've tidied the house, I've got everything I could possibly want to watch loaded up and ready to go. I think I'm ready for this, and I have a mask. Which reminds me of the second thing that I've noticed. I've lost my favourite mask, and I don't know where the hell it is, and I can't find it, so I might need to look for another one got any recommendations of people who do like pop culture masks that would be kind of cool all right time to go and get my shop catch you later right second shot done dusted in out all observed even updated the covid tracery thingy where it shows you how to put in your vaccination record which is super easy they've got somebody going around he's showing you how to do it downsides of it so far I actually had to watch the needle go in this time and I do not like that. It was fine. Uh, and my glasses won't stop fogging up. They constantly feel fogged. And that's just a downside to wearing masks more than anything. Other than that, done and dusted. I am going to go home to watch Dune or something else. Star Trek Prodigy or I don't know, there's lots of options. Ghosts maybe, the American remake. It's not as good as the British one, but it's, it's still okay. It's better than nothing. But first things first, go home, have a drink, relax a little bit get on with building some antibodies.